Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So somehow differentiate this. So uh, so press pause and uh, and have a go. Okay, so to do this, um, imagine imagine this as being one block and this here as being another block. So now exponentiate both sides with base seven. So that would be seven to the power of y, and then seven to the power of this whole thing here. Then that would that would then just be this because um, we remember there's there's a rule that we can just cancel this out so that would be this now if you don't understand how to get from here to here then try to break this down make this simpler so that you can understand the process so let's 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 try and understand this so here we've got log uh, base 7 uh, let's let's make something something up so it's nice and simple let's let's just say 49 so when you come to translate this your eyes should zoom into this 7 7 to the power of what will give me 49 so, so this whole block here is this exponent. This whole block here is this exponent. So when, when, when you were here, if you exponentiate both sides with base 7, that would be 7 to the power of this whole thing here. That would be 7 to the power of this whole thing, of this whole thing here. Well, this whole thing here is this bit here, is this exponent here. So it would be, it would be that, it would be 7 with that same exponent here. Will give me 49. Well, you can see that when we have 7 to the power of that, that exponent, it will be 49. It will be 49. It will be whatever's here. So, so when, when you have, when you have log base 7 or 49, if you, if you, um, if you, if you, uh, exponentiate with base 7, it will just be 49. Well, I've done, I've done a video explaining this before. So, uh, so track back to one of the early videos. So from here, um, that uh, that would then take you to here, and then now natural log both sides. So that would then give you this, and then natural log this side. That would then give you this. So now, um, now, hang on. So now you've got y times this thing here. Well, this thing here, don't forget, it's a constant. It's just a number that doesn't change because if you think about it, um, if if you were to translate this this thing here. Um, your eyes are zoomed, so it's, you imagine, well this is defaulted as e, natural log, so, so it would be e to the power of what will give me 7. Well, this whole block here is this exponent here, whatever that exponent is, it's just a number, it's just a number that doesn't change. So, uh, so when, you, when you differentiate this, it will just be a constant. It's like me asking you to differentiate uh, 3y. Well, if you differentiate 3y, it's just 3 with respect to, well, well, when, when you differentiate this, that will then give you this bit here, and then uh, and then because y is a function of of x, then you need to stick this uh, this dy by dx. Now differentiate this. So imagine this as being a bubble. So it'd be one over the bubble, and then times the derivative of the bubble itself, which would be four. So that will then give you this. So now uh, now you want to get dy by dx on its own. So divide both sides by by this thing here. So your overall answer. Will be this, okay?